What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, D J B A S E, DJ Bass, back with another episode of the Beat Break. And today on the Beat Break, we're going to be looking at chords and melodies, okay? We're going to just be trying to beautify some sound, okay? Because really, that's the definition of music. The beautification of sound, okay? Because you got to look at it. There's some sounds you don't want to hear. Like a car crash crash, or a train wreck. You don't want to hear that. But then there's beautiful sound. Or birds singing. Or a person's voice, okay? Or a nice melody. Or a chord progression, okay? And so we're going to try to show you all how to beautify sound with chord progressions and melodies, okay? And if you're new to music producing, great. We're going to take this from a beginner's perspective, okay? Okay. And uh, first thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to decide what key we're going to be in. We already have this set to F, natural minor. If you refer back to some of my other videos, like uh, how to stay in key in FL Studio and uh, any other DAW, to show you how we set this keyboard up like this okay and let's just see okay we in f okay and let's just see you know that's one of my favorite chords right there that's an add nine and hey, man that's a beautiful chord so we're just gonna start that right there and we're gonna come over here and we see notes we're playing okay f g e sharp and c okay and we're gonna uh magnify this okay we're gonna shorten this we're gonna hit control left click Control, left click, and drag. Okay, and we'll left click and drag this out. All right, we're gonna have this go. Okay, you know what? Let's bring it down here. Take, uh, maybe we'll take one of these notes and elongate it. Okay, maybe we'll take this C. Matter of fact, you know what? We're gonna do. We're gonna add a bass note. We're going to add an F. And we're going to elongate that F. Okay. That's going to be alright to start with. Okay. Because we're going to be just building with this. Okay. Now from there. Let's see. Okay, let's take another one of these notes. Let's take this C. And let's elongate that as well. Because the amount of time you hold the key down counts also the amount of time you rest the key, okay? It creates a, a certain sound in the feel, okay? And as we hold these notes down, okay, and these notes are rested, it's just going to give a certain feel. Okay. Alright. Now let's give it a little 
melody. Okay. What we're going to do, we're going to go in here to this knife. And we're just going to cut it. All right. Let's cut it right here. See what that sounds like. <laughs> Erase that. Let's try it right here. See what this sound like. Definitely not. We're gonna go back to where we had it. Okay. All right. And now what we're gonna do, we're gonna go back here to this tool and we're gonna stress this note here out. Let's see what that sounds like. Go G. Since we are here, we have a G. That's it. one of the notes of the scale. So we're just gonna go to G. Kind of add to this melody. And y'all hear that? Hey man, we just start with a F natural. Well, a F at a nine. Okay. And look what we got. Okay, now we're going to see if we can add some more drama to this, okay, by adding a few more notes. Let's see what happens if we add a bass, deeper bass. Yeah. Okay, you feel me? You feel me? We just set the scale to F natural minor. We started with one chord, and we just started cutting here and there where we thought we, we we could hear a melody coming in and we added notes where we thought we could hear other notes notes that are in the scale and as you see all these highlighted areas okay are areas where you can just drop notes like i said go back to my look through my videos and find that video how to set up it Stay in key in FL Studio or any other DAW, and you'll see how we set this keyboard up like that. Okay, well, we're just going to keep going with this, okay? Right now, it's sounding pretty good. So what we want to do is see if we can't get it sounding even better. Okay, and so what we're going to do, we're going to introduce, basically what we're doing is trying to, Broaden the dynamic range, okay? We we added some low end, so we're gonna go with some high end. Let's just go with G. Uh, we're not gonna elongate that. Let's see. Hold up, man. Let me take that out. Let us just see. Okay. Okay. Now what we're going to do. We're going to do a little strumming, okay? We're going to do a little strumming with this thing. If y'all know what that means. Okay. Let me see. Let's draw right here. Uh, you can hit shift on your computer keyboard and your middle wheel on your mouse. And it'll shift the notes for you. So we're going to bring this one back a little bit. Okay. Let's just take this one. Bring it back just a little bit. Mm. Uh, I don't know. Let's see. Right here. Take that back just a hair. Let's see what that sound like. Oh, 
Okay. You know what we're gonna do? Let me see. Just say making velocity changes, okay? Let's cut these off. Yeah. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna add this, we're gonna copy this, right? Mm -hmm. And we're gonna paste it over here and we'll turn this into two bars instead of one. Four bars, brother. But if we in double time, it's just two bars. Okay, now what we're gonna do, we're gonna grab another piano. But matter of fact, what we're gonna do, we're gonna go to this Grand Rhapsody piano. We're gonna mess with this format because we're gonna soften it up, son. Let's mess with this velocity curve. right there for right now now what we're gonna do we're gonna bring up another piano to show you how with a piano which is one of my favorite is my favorite instrument you can just do so much with that and we'll go to this grand piano okay and this fl studio native plug-in direct wave okay this is a pretty good sounding piano See what we're gonna do.
about that, okay? And, and basically what we're doing is we're playing a fifth, okay, a perfect fifth. That's the first and the fifth degree of this F natural minor scale, okay? That's one, two, three, four, five. You play the one and the five, and that's a fifth, okay? You play the one, the three, and the five, that's a triad, okay? If you play the one, the two, the three, and the five, which we play, that's an add nine, okay? So, this is add this perfect fifth. And we're just going to record it just to make things simple, okay? So we're going to hit record. You know what? I messed that up. Let's do that again. Okay, you know what? I just wanted to do that to make it simple and quick. So what we're going to do is go ahead and go in here and quantize this. Quick quantize. Boom. And then we're going to... I'm going to shorten this up. Matter of fact, we're going to chop it. Okay, and this one. Chop that. And this one started too soon. We chopped that one. We got this one. Right? We chopped this one. Right there. Or maybe, let's see. No, we'll chop it right here. Oh, there we go. I'm going to bring this one. Why oh, I don't see it on the velocity. Okay, there it is. What happens if I swap the velocity settings? You know what? We're going to bring this one up. Okay, okay, I'm feeling that. Now let's go back in here. All right, we're gonna add something else, right? Right here, I'm gonna cut this just to add some interest, okay? Bit. 
demain. Just to make it sound just a little different, we're just going to bring this one in different, okay? okay. And on that note, man, hold up. You know what? We've created a nice chord progression slash melody, and we kept it pretty simple, man. And we have beautified sound. I could just listen to this track, man, and just meditate, sit back and reflect on my life, okay? And see if I can change some things, you know? Because sometimes you listen to this music today, the artist is just too opinionated. It's just too loud. Sometimes I'll put something like this on and just sit back in a dark, quiet place and just get some thoughts together. That metronome sound pretty good in the background too. We're gonna turn that metronome down just a little bit. That's like a clock. Just steadily going in the background. And that, me that, that harmony, that melody, is just taking your mind on a trip, a relaxing journey. <laughs> Check this out. Right here. We're going to dub that up. We're going to kick it up one. You know what? We're going to elongate that. Because we want that energy to just resonate, just stay stay around for a while.
All right. And on that note, you've been rocking with your boy, DJ B A S E. And if you like this video, if it entertains you, and, or if you learn anything, don't forget to like, share, comment, and most definitely subscribe to your boy channel, The Beat Break. And I'll see you next time.